So this guy responded to a video I posted about many worlds theory saying that choices aren't quantum events. And he is right. Choices are not quantum events. But quantum events can affect choices. We have radioactive elements in our body, and they decay something like 5,000 times a second. And those are all fundamentally quantum events. And depending on how they decay, they will leave atoms in different states in our body, which will interact with other atoms in our body and eventually cause macro-scale consequences. And some of those consequences can be our choices. Not to mention, the same holds true for the outside world. Different things decay, different atoms interact with other atoms in different ways, creating different situations in the outside world, which you'll interact with in different ways. Maybe I'm not explaining it right. Veritasium did a great video where they interviewed Professor Sean Carroll at Caltech, who literally wrote the book on many worlds theory and how it affects basically our reality. So you should go Google that video and, hey, wait, I have a better phone now. It's a big number, but we don't know how big. Let's deal with the misconception that many worlds means everything that could possibly happen <laughs> happens. Yeah, that's not true. Many worlds means the wave function obeys the Schrodinger equation. That's what it means. The Schrodinger equation predicts many things could potentially happen, but not everything. So, for example, uh, an electron will never convert into a proton. It would violate conservation of mass, conservation of charge, all these things. Things that the Schrodinger equation gives zero probability to ever happening. What about you becoming president? Yes, that could happen. There, like, is, there is a world in which you're president? There is a world, well, to be super duper clear, <laughs> it would not be me who is president. It right. would be a version of me. Right, right. But there is once a, the branching happens, you're those are two separate people now. But there is a version of you who is currently president. Yes, that's right. And who is tweeting? It's a very low amplitude <laughs> world. So yeah, it's sound physics. I mean, unless you don't think Professor Sean Carroll could ever be president, which that might hurt his feelings. The point is, you can't break the laws of physics when it comes to the quantum multiverse. So it's not that everything is possible, because anything that breaks the laws of physics is not possible. But stuff like personal choice, that is possible. That is something that can be affected by resolution of quantum events, and thus there are many, many worlds in which you have made different choices. There are many, many worlds in which you don't even exist. But like Professor Carroll said, that's not really you. That's what I was trying to say in my other video. That is a different version of you. The you that is you is always the you that exists right now. I highly suggest you watch the full Veritasium video. It's 20 minutes long, and it's an absolute great resource. And read Professor Carroll's book, Something Deeply Hidden. It is a fantastic read and goes way in-depth on many worlds theory.